Welcome back, this is Arcade Knight, and after the courageous leadership of Prince Richard and capturing Genova, the king has decided to keep the pressure on King Louis. So guys, we're going to raid this French village behind us. While you sit back on your comfy thrones and grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage, because we're playing 1257 AD. Right after the last episode, I got a notification that King Louis has indicted Lord Roland for treason and stripped him of all his properties, and Lord Roland has fled for his life. Now, guys, if you don't remember, Lord Roland was the lord who took a Bamberg castle and left the United Kingdoms and joined France. He's the one who started this whole war after all. And I think after King Louis just lost Rouen and he lost a second town deep into his territories, um, I think he's pretty pissed off at Lord Roland and he has indicted him for treason. So guys, that is just poetic justice. That is so beautiful. Lord Roland, run for your life, good sir. Run for your life. There's a little bit of a battle going on right here, and I see Prince Richard has very few men, so I'm going to wait for this battle to end, and I'm going to catch him. And good sir, I'm going to give you some more men. Um, let's see. Let's give you some more troops. I'm glad I caught you just in time. So let's see. I'm going to upgrade these crossbowmen. I'm going to go ahead and give those to you. Yep, you're going to be well set up, good sir, after this. Let's give you all of these men that I have left. So I'm just going to head back. Uh, towards the United Kingdoms with um, probably only about 70 so men. The rest I'm going to definitely give to the Prince. So let's see, there we go. Yeah, sure, take these, these mercenary horsemen, all these spearmen. Oh, you're going to be well set up, good sir. Well set up. Right down to that last one. Okay, so I think you look pretty good. Um, let me ask you something. What are you doing? You're traveling to Norwich Castle. That's probably a good idea. Um, who should you you should support yourself? I will. Don't you worry. You have you are well deserved, good sir. I will give you Ruin uh, in a very short order. So very good. So I think the prince is looking good. A mighty fine with 132 men. We're looking pretty good. I just raided uh, this village right here. I think Milano has nothing left. So. I'll tell you what, let's let's head this way and let's follow let's follow the prince. Let's accompany him, yeah. Make sure he doesn't get in any trouble on his way home. And um yeah, I should probably handle that feath pretty pretty soon. I tell you what, it's gonna be a nice stopover on our third crusade to kind of stop over there and visit if, if we can hold on to it. Oh <laughs> I have been waiting for this. Well, let's uh, dictate some peace terms. This is what I want. This is, We were going to take it anyway. That's right, King Louis. That's right. You take it. You take it from King Robert. Guys, we got it. We got everything we wanted plus more. Um, you need to stop. You need to stop that, good sir. Th this, this war is over, if I'm not mistaken. It, it just ended. Yeah, we're, we're at truce. Uh, let let the fighting end. Yeah, very good. Um, um. Yes. Um, I beg my leave of you, good sir. Beg my leave of you. Okay, so I see they're just taking care of a little bit of bandits, and so yeah, we just got this castle, guys, for doing nothing, for doing nothing, and it, we got it, and it was fully garrisoned with 332 men. That's amazing. That's amazing. Let's go ahead and take a walk around the courtyard. Ah, it's a, it's a little junky place, I see. Little junky place, indeed. I see why they give it up so so quickly, but at least we've got a little bit of lands now. Wow, this is a mighty fine hall for as rickety and wooden as the outside looks. But uh, guys, let, let's check this out now. Now, ooh, now that looks nice. That looks nice. That looks like a nice duchy for my son. Ruling from Rouen. I'm going to have a couple of lords stationed here at Arras and uh, Bologna. Give out, uh, maybe or maybe I'll give Calais to him as well. So we'll have Norwich, Norwich Castle, Calais, Rouen. I'd give this village off to someone else. And then we can't forget, we got Genovia all the way over here. All the way over here. Who was the lord who took that? Let me go back and 
I wonder if it's going to be in the in the recent messages. Um, let's see. Sometimes you can see if it's been sieged by someone. No, I don't believe I have it back that far. Yeah. I think it was a Michael, though, right? It was a Michael of, of some sort. I'm going to have to go back and check it out. Check out the video just to make sure. But I believe it was... Was it this guy? Was it... Was it this guy? I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out. I'm not quite sure. I'm really curious. It, can't, it couldn't have been him, right? No. I, I hope it was him. I hope it was this guy, because, yeah, I'll probably give it to you. I know you're resentful towards me, but hopefully this will help us out. Let's see, is he... I wonder if he's close around here. Aha, it was him. It was him. Let's go talk to him. Oh, that's not too bad. Negative 29. You support yourself. I'll give you something better. All right. I see. I see. Okay, so we've, we've got a lot of feasts to hand out, so let's head back to London, guys. I want to start doing that. I think it's time for celebration, too. We may have another feast soon, but let's go to the castle and start handing out some feasts first. I think that is the most important thing to do. Get those feasts taken care of immediately. Also, we've got some new lords who joined us. Look at that. You, sir. A lady is, is in the court, and this gentleman himself. Hmm... Hmm, I know I'm going to have to think about you for a little bit. I have to think about you. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Lord Roland was indicted for treason. Man, what a disaster this war was for France. The Bamberg War was a disaster. Not one time that I see King Louis filled an army to stop us. We swept in, we took Bologna, we took Rouen. They marched all the way over to the, to the top of Italy. And they took a town there. And then they gave us a castle for our troubles just to end this war. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, let's start handing out some feats. I think the first thing we're going to do is um, let's hand out Nova to that lord who led the siege. Um, I believe it is you, good sir. Yep, and uh, let's see. Where is he? Yeah, you can't, can't find him. All right, also, let's see. Let's grant one of my vassals a fief we win, and that is definitely going to go to Prince Richard. Very good. And of course, everybody hates that. Um, hmm. Let's ask what e how everyone feels about ARAS. Uh, let's see. Information. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, hmm. I don't have that option yet. I guess it's too new. I guess it's just too new. All right, so I think we're in pretty good shape. There's some villages to hand out, but um, we're not going to do that just yet. But let's go to the tavern here, and let's see if we can... Don't you best with me, you belligerent drunk. Let's go ahead and increase the relationship we have in the town here. Very good. All right, guys, we're in really good shape. Um, I am pretty sure... Let's make sure everything's looking good over here. Yeah, Rowan is now for my prince. I'm gonna have to hit out Calais and the, these couple of villages. Let's see, what is there? A, what is the village that's attached here? There's two villages, frankly, two villages. I may hand those other two villages out to him as well, just to make him a little bit happier, give him some little land out here. But it's really scary. He can kind of start his own little kingdom out here or, or join one of these. He's so far. Oh, look at this. This town is, or this village is also connected all the way down here. That is crazy, guys. We can almost, hmm, take Dijon and a couple of other places and kind of connect it, right? That could be interesting. Kind of push France down towards uh, modern-day Spain. Let's check out the Middle East. Check out the, um, the Holy Lands. How's everything going here? Looking pretty good. Marcus's territory. Can't wait to get back there and see Marcus. It's been such a long time. Also, Antioch. Gotta visit Antioch again. So, yeah. Everything's looking pretty good down there. I believe there's still a war going on between the Mameluke Sultanate um, and the Ilkhanate. So, that's interesting as well. And also, 
This is, is King Robert's lands as well. It's kind of interesting. I like it. We could kind of keep it as a bargaining chip in case we get in trouble. We can give this back to them. I know the Crusaders died for it. I'd like to keep it. But um, it's so far away from everything else. It's hard, hard to keep. But this town, that's very prestigious. We got to hold on to that. All right. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to head back up to York and um, see if we can figure out the rest of this. Remember, we had to get rid of another 50 men to... Um, kind of lower the garrison here. So let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and manage the garrison, inspect the garrison. So let's see. What 50 men can we get rid of? We've got so many crossbowmen, guys. These guys look good, though, how armored up they are. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, I'll definitely keep those guys. Experienced crossbowmen. Ooh, these sergeant crossbowmen. Oh, they look tough too. Need to get rid of 50. Okay. I think. Let's get rid of some of these. I'm going to get rid of about 50 of these. I'm going to hand them out. Probably give them to the prince as well. And then, guys, we should be. Make it 60. Hell, we're just going to get rid of all of them. I think that's good. And what do we got now? 442. I think that's pretty good. I think that'll work. Ooh, sword merchant. I don't want to have the money right now, sir. Do not have the money. Let's see. 47. My sword is pretty badass. I tell you what, I wish it was... I wish it was just a little bit faster. I like a sword that's up to 98, 97. Um, but these just don't hit as hard. These just don't hit quite as hard. So, yeah, I think I'm in pretty good shape. So, let's see. Let's sell off some of these goods here in York. Do you have any money? No. York is poor. Ugh. So poor. I think we can get rid of some... Some goods here. Close enough. Alrighty. And then... One last thing. I forgot to... Talk to the tavern keeper. Oh, it was too soon. You can only do it uh, in a certain amount of times. All right, guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to check out my manor, see if uh, there's any more goods there to sell. And then I think, guys, we're going to go ahead and set up another feast over in London to celebrate this glorious victory over France. Guys, it's just so exciting. My lords are doing such a good job. And I think we can start preparing once we get our finances straight, to head back to the Holy Lands for the Third Crusade and finally capture Jerusalem. So guys, once I get this all set up, I'm going to cut right back. I'm going to see you guys in a second. Well, it appears one of my lords is already hosting a feast in celebration of our defeat of France. I believe it's a Ulrich von Lichtenstein. So guys, we're going to go into the feast and we're going to make ourselves a grand entrance. Oh yeah, this is how a king should enter a feast. <laughs> Oh, from the top step. Well, guys, we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk to a bunch of these lords and see if we can improve some relationship. And also, we've got a, a couple of new castles that we need to start handing off. Let's talk to you first, good sir. Uh, what is our negative 91? I think we're, we're also going to use this feast as an opportunity to start to uh, try to cut some of the, the dead weight. And you, sir... Or dead weight. I'm writing your name down. And I think once we head back to London, we may get rid of you. I don't think I gave you a fief yet. Okay, good. I think that's best. All right. Um, Who do you think should see the fief of Aris? Your brother. Oh. Hmm. Now this is a problem. What does your brother have? Your brother has Beast and Castle. He's hostile towards me. This is problematic. This is problematic. Huh. I'm going to have to reconsider doing that. If I get rid of him, do I get a worse relationship with his brother? And he has a castle. So maybe I need to start trying to mend some fences. Maybe give him a village. I'll give him a village to kind of placate him. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta make these tough choices. Okay, 
Um, uh, let's move on to the next Lord. Oh, Lord Michael, let's talk to you. Good sir, negative 18, not so bad. You have Clare Castle and Gloucester, which is pretty pretty close to London. Um, and you support your friend. Okay, very good. All right, moving along. Ah, War Ram. Negative 12, not too bad either. And it looks like you guys are kind of gathering to talk about something. I don't see anybody who... Hmm... What's going on here? There's got to be someone who likes me. Uh, Peter Denton. Ah, oh, very good. 13. Uh, who do you think should... Oh, Michael again. That is two for Michael. I'm going to have to check that out. But I've got other plans, guys. I've got other plans for those castles in France. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, let's see. Denson. Uh, let's talk to you. Negative 80. I think we can probably get rid of you. Yeah. I'm going to have my hands full taking care of um, that Lord Peo and, and his brother. You, sir, I, I don't have time for, so we may have to get rid of you, and, and you have no ties. So, that's probably for best. Okay, so let's talk to some other people. Ooh, Kabukwa, 72. It is so good to see a friendly face. Uh, what do you think? Ah, you already like Yasmut. Uh, I figured... Y'all would get along. I figured that. I think I already gave him something. How about you, sir? Negative 16, I see. Ah, and you support his brother. Okay. You support his brother, not the uh, the gentleman, Lord Peo, who we were thinking about getting rid of. Okay. And then, oh, Joseph Brecklin. Not too bad. We, I need to work on you. We used to be such better friends. You also support Lord Michael. That's interesting. A lot of people supporting this Lord Michael guy. And then you, sir, hosting this feast, Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Who do you support? You support yourself. Of course you do. Now, I did check. I, I believe, yeah, you only have Kildrummy Castle. You don't have a village. That's unfortunate. I think you're pretty landlocked up here, sir. I think you're pretty landlocked. We're going to look at that soon. But uh, it, it is so nice to see all of you. Thank you so much for hosting this wonderful feast. Long live the United Kingdoms, and down to France, down to France indeed, but I shall head back to London and see my dear wife and queen. So guys, let's get out of here. We've got so much to do before the end of this episode. First of all, what I want to make sure is that I can go down to Sterling, perhaps, and sell some of these goods from uh, raiding those villages in France. Oh, who are you? Lord Joan. Can we, can we talk, sir? Negative 46. I have so much work to do. Oh, my goodness. You support yourself. Of course you do. Of course you do. It is tough when you've got, like, so, like, 20, 30, it seems, uh, vassals trying to kind of control all of this. But let's go to the marketplace. Um, there's a little bit of money here. So we can sell some of this stuff. That's close enough. But, um, guys, after we head down to London, there is some other business I want to talk about. I think we're going to try to do a, a, a little small adventure before we go on our third crusade. Hopefully nothing happens. That's the worst thing. Uh, another war with France or another war with another kingdom. Um, it's really hard to control those things sometimes. But I've got some plans in the meantime. I wonder if we can go to... Yeah, on the way, let's go to York. Maybe there's some more money in York, some more gold in York as we head down to London. But yeah, guys, after we get to London, we're going to have some some big plans for the next episode I want to talk about. So I'm going to finish selling off all these goods. I'm going to check out, um, make sure there are no goods over in my manners that I can sell. I need to make sure I keep those finances up. And uh, once I'm ready, guys, we'll get back to London and we're going to talk about getting rid of some lords, handing out some fees. And uh, what we're going to do for the next episode. So to better manage my tax and efficiency, because it's still at negative 9%. So we need to work on it. We need to get a couple of more fiefs off the books. And I checked. It appears Guilford and this village here are um, the lowest income villages that I own. So I, I checked and Pembroke Castle here... Um, is owned by this particular lord. He doesn't have a village, and he's grumbling against me, so I think I'm going to give him um, that particular village because it's close and he can take care of it. And Guilford, well, 
maybe I'll go ahead and give that to that uh, Grumbling Lord, Lord Pale, just to kind of make him happy, because I do believe his brother has Beeson Castle. Yeah, his brother definitely... Yep, there he is, and his brother... Yep, he's the vengeful one. Um, so, hmm... However... I wonder what I'm thinking maybe... Maybe I'll just help him out. I'll give him that village. Improve this relationship. If his brother leaves, his brother leaves. But I'm not... Kind of throwing a village at him when he's just going to leave me anyway. I, there's really no way to repair this. Now, when I head into London, I'm sure there's going to be a lord or two in there. I'm going to only choose one and probably give them maybe one of these villages. Maybe Khan, perhaps, because I think he, there's a French lord in there as well. So that's what we're going to do. Let's run into London really quickly and take care of this. All right, so oh, I just I love handing out fiefs. All right, so yeah, there are quite a few lords. Wow. There are three lords in here. All right, I don't think I'm going to take you, sir. I mean, I'll talk to them. But I think this is the lord that I'm interested in because I think he is, yep, a former lord of King Louis. And I love taking lords from him. Especially since uh, that lord, Roland, um, was uh, indicted for treason earlier in the episode today. That that was just awesome. The, things are going so bad for France right now. All right, so let's see. Um, first things first. Uh, let's see. Let's hand out some fiefs. So, we want to hand out first. What would we say? Guilford. Where is it? There it is. All right, so we're going to hand that off to the brother not the actual problem. So let's make sure we do the right one. I'm I'm so glad I wrote this down. Right, so this is the brother with Beast and Castle. This is the one that is the problem, so we can give it to him. And where is he? That's not him. Although his brother, I think, liked it. Okay. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is hand out another fief. So we're gonna hand out, what was it, that other village? Ah, this one. And we're gonna hand it to this lord right there. Very good. And of course, how's everything looking? Ah, some, some things were worse, some things were better. It's tough to manage. You're always gonna have some negative relationships with those kinds of things. Okay, so it looks like We've handed those out. Oh, oh, and we're going to indict one of those men for, tre yeah, for treason. Here we go. Um, state of affairs. Yes. Okay. Who's the problem? Where are you, sir? The, you are the problem. Yep, and I made sure I wrote his name down. That is definitely him. You are gone, sir. Yep, yep, yep. He's done. All right, everybody. Um, negative one with everyone but i can take that it's better than me having to deal with that later okay so i believe sir if i accept you on i may give you con but, but, but let's talk to these gentlemen first already got a negative relationship um i don't think i want to deal with that let's let's talk to you sir um negative relationship nope uh, i'm concerned that i'm already gonna have a negative relationship with this gentleman but I'm going to give him a village right away, and that should, that should change things. Yep. Let's see. Oh, wait. Th th this is not who I thought you were. Hmm. This is not who I thought you were. Interesting. Well, I said I was going to take you anyway. I thought I saw a notification that somebody from the Kingdom of France left. Oh, well. Okay, so let's go ahead and hand a fief to him right now to make sure we keep that relationship up. And uh, I believe we're going to do Khan. Yep. And then where is he? Where is this new lord? He's just joined us. There he is. Alrighty, so... Yep, yep. Everybody has their opinion about it. I wonder if his relationship's already gone up. Let's see if we can talk to him. Yep. Ah. Uh, uh-huh. I like it. All right, you do well there, sir. Maybe we'll give you some more lands. 
All right, guys, so we've done everything we needed to do. The next thing is we're going to talk about my plans for France. Now, I have my son there. He's got Ruin. I think I was going to give him Calais. haven't done it yet. We're going to hold off on that for just a little bit because I want to keep some of these villages and castles open for... Uh, I'm going to tell you why, but I believe Bologna's open. No, I already gave it to Lord Giles, but... We do have ARAS open, we do have tons of villages, and what I wanted to do is, I wanted to take a trip down to Portugal, or New England, because the Kingdom of England has moved down here, so they, they're on Cornbra and Lisboa. Now let's see, I believe King Henry, yep, he's got that, and uh, who's got Lisboa? I think it's one of the lords I really want to talk to. I think it is you and he's we have a good relationship so he's not gonna leave Lisboa but here's the deal guys I'm gonna go to my reports I'm gonna look at my relationship with the Lords I've got a really good relationship with so many English Lords I think um, he may be that Lord that has Lisboa but uh, yeah if I look at it uh, uh, Sir Hugh former Earl of Oxford um, we've got a pretty good relationship. Also, um, Humphrey, the High Constable. We can't forget about Roger Mortimer. We've got a pretty good relationship with him. How about Sir John? One of the two Johns. Yeah, we've got a pretty good relationship with him. So what I was thinking about, guys, I was going to take a little trip down to what is now England, or New England as we're going to call it, and uh, I'm going to see if I can convince some of these lords to join me and head back home. I don't know if they're at war with anybody just yet. Let's see. Kingdom of England. So yeah, they, they're, they're still... Look at all these vassals. Look at all these vassals. But they, they're, there's so few lands. Let's see if I can find Roger Mortimer, if he's got anything. What do you have? He's got no fiefs. He's got no fiefs at all. And also, good sir, have you stolen my old chainmail and surcoat. I'm I'm quite upset with you, sir. I'm quite upset. I'm going to have to go talk to you. I mean, you're, you're already wearing it. You, you should definitely join me. Uh, who else? Um, how about one of the two Johns? Sir John Fitz, Fitz Allen. Oh, he's got Porta. But that's just a small little, small little village. So guys, I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode. And you let me know if you think this is a good idea. Because I, I, I definitely would love to reinforce this area. Especially this castle, maybe one of the villages, um, with an English lord. And if I could just get one, just one, that would be a huge win. So guys, you let me know in the comment section. If you've been a fan of this series since the very beginning. And you have seen everything in season one when we, when we were dealing with the kingdom of, Eng of England and all these lords. You know, you let me know which lord you really want me to try to get. I think I have a special place in my heart for maybe Roger Mortimer or maybe one of the two Johns. Maybe John Fitzalan. But guys, I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. But um, yeah, so I, you know what? I've been working on a bunch of my manors. I'm going to check out the, the manor of Oxford. I've got the Manor of London fully operational. The Manor of Oxford, I, I, I can't quite remember if I've got it up and running just yet. So I'm going to go ahead, see if I can, can I get in there? So tiny, there you are. Let's walk around the center. The population's really low. We've got a lot to do. Let, let's see if anything's been built. Okay. Hmm, not much. I don't know how much I've told them to build, but I'm, I'm going to go inside there and see. I've got a little bit of money. I want three manors up and running so we can get the most money possible. Let's see. Um, inspect the treasury. Yeah, we've got 10,000 in there. Um, that's pretty good. See, I want to build something. So let's build walls. That's very important. It costs 10,000 for walls. Let's go ahead and build that. Um, let's deposit some more gold in the treasury. We're going to go ahead and deposit 10,000 and build something else. So let's see. We've got so many things building right now. The, the things that really bring us good gold from selling the goods. So I think we're just going to do improved housing, which will cost us 3000 And taxes. 
Um, that doesn't really matter. Is there anything else to build? Tavern, monastery, well. A well's probably something that we should do as well. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so very good. And I believe I pulled everything out. I went to the Manor of London and pulled out everything. But let's see if, nope, there's nothing new there. So we are in good shape, guys. I'm hoping to get all three manors up and running, and we're going to get some huge tribute stores that we can start selling off and really get these finances up and going. I want to get back up to 100,000 gold in my treasury, and also I want to make sure that we are making at least a net positive on a weekly basis before we head back to the Holy Lands. Also, guys, I think I need to get some more... I got to get some more senior knights, some more knights. I've been handing out a lot of troops to my son, putting them in some garrisons, cleaning them out in York. So, so there's a lot of work to do, especially with the finances, especially, especially with the troops. But guys, on the next episode, we're definitely hang, going down to New England and trying to get one of those English lords to join us. But guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. It's by far the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on 1257 AD.